Oh shit, Played a little tight there, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to NASCAR 14 for the uh, Richmond race under the lights here in Richmond, Virginia. It is the final race before the uh, chase begins. And uh, we have, we, we, we won in Atlanta and uh, I've just had a really good feeling. Um, and check this out, let's have a real quick look here. Pretty close in time, but I beat him by a little bit. I had a really, really good lap uh, on Casey Kane. He beat me once in the uh, knockout uh, and or during the qualifying session and I came back and fought back and got past him. So they are pretty difficult. Um, they're at 70%. Uh, again, you know, I'm using a G27 wheel. So therefore, if you're using a wheel, you're going to be running about a second slower than people who run with a uh, controller. So with that said, that's the reason why I go 70 and not 80%. Uh, as a full second, is kind of just insanely different. Uh, but anywho, we qualified well. The car set up by Aaron Corkiner. Thank you so much for this uh, uh, package. It's been really, really, really fast and good. Uh, I've made some adjustments to the track bar, uh, as well as the steering lock. The steering lock, I learned um, a lot about, and uh, it, it it really, really makes a difference. Remember how I was talking about how the car's getting, like the nose was getting arrow loose in the turns? It was the steering lock was up way too high, so it was, wasn't was catching it too well. So it, this tightened the car up the way I like it, and then I can adjust the track bar um, as uh, as I need to. Uh, this track is uh, is pretty difficult. Uh, it's tricky. It's um, short track racing, but it'll be a lot of fun. So let's get out there and uh, see what happens. All righty, starting on the inside of Casey Kane. We need to be uh, need to be on our game go, today. So to I'm getting better at uh, at starts here. So man, Gordon spun his tires right, back there, didn't he? You Turn one is so You're important in the beginning of the race like this. Clear right. So important, and I'm gonna be kind of quiet. You know how that goes. I'm gonna, back. When I'm concentrating here in the beginning. One thing with this setup, we just cannot get pinched on the outside line. It, the, the car does not like the outside line, and as you put tire uh, tires, as you put laps on the tires, you will see very quickly that uh, the car will start to fall off a little bit there. Way to go, buddy! You're holding the fastest time right now. All right, yeah, for now, we don't need to overdrive the car either. We need to start kind of conserving it a little bit because um, that's the reason why I'm, it's the nerves in the beginning when you first start. That's the reason why we're driving away from them right now because we do have a, a top five car. I don't know if we have a car to win today, but we have, if we do a good job on the uh, restarts um, and uh, our pitch strategy is there today, we, we have a shot at it. Uh, but I'll say confidently that we are, you know, we're looking uh, towards, uh, you know, a top five car for sh for sure. All right, so let's just let's just keep hitting our marks and uh, and doing our thing right now because they're not we're not blowing them away. That's for damn sure. We're just uh, kind of you know barely hanging on here. As you can see, Carl Edwards gained a lot on us there because I messed up on that turn. It's all about how you enter these turns and carrying the speed and the momentum to get back in the gas and, and get off the corner. Um, you know, I spent I spent a lot of time at this track over the week and, uh, or the weekend, and um, shit, as I, as, as I drive, overdrive the damn corner. It's just, be quiet there. It's like talking's a curse with driving for some reason with me. Uh, okay, let's use that clean air, keep digging. Yeah, mainly, I, th I think what it is is whenever you're talking, you forget your uh, marks, you forget your break your braking zones, and it's so important in short track racing that you nail your braking zones 100% to the T. Uh, Richmond uses a lot of braking, a lot more than you would think, uh, and if you're not braking enough, you're, you're actually going to be slowing yourself down in the long run at the track rather than someone who's braking a lot earlier and, and just nailing the apex of the corner. So we just got to find our rhythm. That's all. Because they are a coming. 
and it's only get worse. Uh, the way we're, Richmond works is, um, you know, you're gonna have, we're gonna have to deal with uh, lap traffic soon. And when we start dealing with lap traffic, then Hamlin's gonna be able to jump all over our ass because of that uh, and try to take advantage of uh, any positions he can, he can squeeze off of us because we have to race smart nice and, steady. and watch what we're doing back. with the, uh, the AI, especially, you know, when we're lapping people. As you can see ahead there, we're starting to come up on somebody that's lap traffic. So we've got to be smart on it. Get around him when we can. Don't let him hold us up too much because if we let us let him hold us up and Denny Hamlin gets by, the only thing I'm worried about is the outside line. We just, we, the car just is not that good on the outside line. And uh, and if they, they pinch us up there, we're going to be in trouble. I'll tell you that right now. The only way we're going to be able to fight right now is just by hanging on to this inside line. Another bad turn by me. That's all right. Luckily, the bake, the brake bank, the brake bias is a lot more towards the front. So when I give that brake uh, and I'm turning to the left, it scoots that nose a little bit more to the left. So it helps us turn Whatever in a way. Which uh, is really, really helpful, especially at short tracks like this, because you want to be on the bottom, but back. you don't want to get into the gas yeah, too early and risk spinning the car. See, now I'm following Michael McDowell's line, and it's slowing us up because uh, Denny Hamlin is starting to catch us. But I think I got McDowell here in this turn, hoping. And right, hopefully, he'll, clear, hopefully he, he's going to slow Denny Hamlin up, which it looks like it did a little bit there. But we've got a lot more lap traffic to deal with. We just got to be smart today, nail our pit stops. That's really all there is to it. That's the, uh, the ingredients for success here at Richmond, because this is not an easy track. But I've got to say, the AI here is not bad. Uh, and when I say that, I mean that they don't have random checkups in the turns, and that really helps. Um, we saw in Atlanta, you know, they would spin the tires and then have to get out of the gas and in the brakes there. And it would, it would, if there's a line of cars, it would really screw us because the whole line would check up. And I think Denny Hamlin's gaining on us quite a bit there. But of course, we're, we're dealing with JJ Yeely right now. And we've just got to be smart and pick our bat. Whoa, see, we got really loose there because I'm not picking my battles all the way. With uh, with the AI, right side um, clear. Whew, man, I got the nerves going there. Car two back. <laughs> got the heart pumping a little bit. I got back in the gas a little too early there, and we just slid the car around turn four. Uh, that's because I got a little little happy there, trying to get around JJ Yeely. And now we'll work on Wise, nice and easy. But car we want to be smooth, smooth, smooth on this wheel. Well, he's already pitting. My Go God, I don't know why. All right, Bowman's next. We'll just, you know, run a little bit different line nice than him. Smooth. You're way out in front. Use that clean air. We're doing good. We want to, we want to keep, we want to allow Bowman to keep Denny at bay, as he's starting to gain on us now. And uh, you know, a, a huge difference between oval racing and um, and uh, road course racing is road course racing. You know. You're racing against the track in, in, in time and, and, you know, executing your uh, all the turns. And in oval racing, you're, you're picking up a rhythm. And uh, once you get the rhythm down, you know, it, it, it can be successful. But it only takes a little slip of that rhythm to screw you. And, uh, and you'll find yourself uh, in trouble. That's, that's the difference. And as you can see, here comes Denny. He's, he is coming. Watch your outside. Right's all clear, bud. Yes, he is. But that's because we're starting to lose a little bit of grip on those right side tires. And I'm dealing with Cole Witt. Check your outside. He's coming low. Clear your right side. Like so. Not Cole Witt. We that's uh, Michael Waltrip. Actually, somebody else is driving that now. I'm not really sure who it is clear exactly, right. but it's a lot different. Low oh, man. Side. Yeah, I had to let out of the gas because I wasn't going to get into... Michael Walter is racing me really hard here right now. Man, God, what are you hitting me for, man? Car closer on the inside. 
Here comes Kurt. All right. Three wide, two Shit. Low. What is happening here, guys? All right, your door. This now is what low. I was talking about. Right this is door. all it takes is that, that lap traffic to screw you. It's all it takes. We get stuck on the outside line and we're, we're just hosed. It's so bad here. Car down low. That's all it took. Michael Waltrip ca ca caused this. I need to get on the inside line. I have to. Otherwise, we're just going to keep going back. We're going to. Car inside at your door. Because when we're on the outside line, we have to brake a lot differently, and we can't get back into the gas as early as those guys on the bottom. Clear on the left. Okay, good. Because I need the inside line. And I will, will run Casey Kane deep down into that turn for it. Not afraid of that. At your door up top. It's just that Going damn outside. lap traffic that screwed us on our momentum. Outside. And I was just talking about, you know, oval racing being momentum and Going groove outside. and whatever. Car two back. And just getting that rhythm down and you get thrown off course by low. one uh, one guy that throws inside. you the outside like Paul Menard's doing right now to us. And I can't go down inside because he's there. Player. And we're losing our right side tire grip. But we are fast. We're a much we're faster low. car than him. So we'll take advantage of that and Check hopefully stick to this inside Car's line because it's so important here. All, clear, bud. all right, we've got to get back in the game here, man. Car on the bottom, one back. Car's loose, very outside. loose. Car up top, just looking. Because we're racing. <laughs> clear right. All right, Brad, bring it, bro. Car tucked in behind you. Car approaching low. Don't you try to make a move right on the bottom you. line, man. I'm not like I'm not letting you, let you have it that easy. No way. All the way into those One brakes back. there. Oh, watch Brad getting a run Going on us. He's gonna put us in the wall. But we'll don't watch him. Left side's clear. Got to get aggressive here. We have to. Looking inside. This lap traffic there, Alex Bowman is slowing us up, along with Austin Dillon. He's getting screwed over by Bowman, too, because Bowman's a lap traffic. He's a lapper. Oh, screwed that fucking turn up. We lost to Keselowski for sure. Three wide. You got to be shitting me, guys. Three wide, two inside. What are you guys doing? First is leading by three seconds. Josh Wise is holding this lineup up here. We're screwed. Five zero. You can do this. Lap traffic no doing it to us. Car inside you. Now you're Come on, guys. Shit. He need... I think Josh Wise is pitting. I think that's what side. happened there. Playing the low slide. Good side. Good. So we'll get Menard back here. Well, we're Car trying to get to Three him back. there. Right to clear. But yeah, the, uh, the secret of this steering lock has really, really, really changed the parameters of this game for me, uh, the way it feels. Um, it feels a lot more like iRacing to me now that I've gotten the steering lock. I mean, the physics, absolutely not there. Um, but as far as just the feel on the wheel, it's it feels at home like I had with uh, iRacing. So that's nice. We have lost quite a bit of grip on our right side tires. I can feel it. But uh, we're not going to pit until, you know, they tell us we need to do it. Or these guys are going to, all the leaders start pitting. That will pit with them, obviously. Just find our rhythm and stay with it. Don't get pinched back on the outside line again because you saw what happened. And what causes that, you're probably wondering? It's the, uh, it's the lap traffic. Lap traffic would get a, a whole line to run up, but the problem is, is you can't run right up on somebody's bumper because, you know, they got a break for the turn and you'll just run right into the back end of them. It doesn't sound like it would be so bad, but, you know, you're, you're damaging the front end of your car and it's very important here at this track, you know, you don't damage your car uh, and screw your steering up because you'll lose every bit that you had starting the race. And it's all about being, you know, patient 
I know I say that all the time, but it's true. It's just patience, patience, patience. Let's get around the lap, guys, here again. Because Yeely is really holding me up, and so is uh, Gillen. Where's that Reagan? I always forget. I always screw those guys up. Come on, Yeely. Get the fuck out of the way, man. I don't have a car that's going to put up with your shit right now, man. Not at all. And McDowell, outside. too. Trying to get to your corner. Watch your rear. And here comes Harvick. On the outside. Clear well, right. This, this, the lap traffic is what it's all coming down to here. Car approaching low. Yeah, Harvick's faster Clear than left. us. I know he is. I can see the difference. That we screwed our that turn up too. That didn't help us anything at all. Go guys. Yep, Harvick's coming. Closing on the bottom. He is just so One much side. faster than us, and we're getting stuck behind freaking Wise. One inside. Come on, Wise, you got you're gonna have to move your ass, dude. Far now inside. we're gonna get trained on the outside lane again. Left side. Clear on the left again, but we'll get Boyer back here. Because the in interesting thing was the lap traffic screwed us. Man, we just don't have a very, very fast car on old tires, that's for sure. And that's all right. It's to be expected. The leader is four seconds in front. Car in front's heading to the pit. All right, cool. Let's get around Josh right Wise. Low. Right side's clear. Because he was holding us up big time there. Oh, shit. Get a little tight there, guys. Some good racing happening right in front of us between Austin, Dillon, Harvick, and Boyer. I'm going to take advantage of it. Four, almost four, four wide, wide going into one. But I want to. I want to pinch those guys on the high line like they've done to me. I'm not afraid of it. Looking outside. Man, Harvick's just so much faster than us. There's no denying it. Side. And I'm not, I, I, I backed out of the gas there because I wasn't going to be next door to door with Joe Nemechek. That never works out too well for us in the past, as you know. You're going to have to move out. I'm going to push you right out of the way, you little We're bitch. Push you right out of the way. You keep doing that. You, you want to try to wreck us? Bastard. Low. Austin Dillon. We've had a run in with him too this season. So, so far, our rivals have been pretty much Austin Dillon, Brad Kozlowski, and Greg Biffle. So far. And Danica Patrick, but, you know, I don't really count that too much. <laughs> All right, we're on Casey Mears. He's lap traffic. And that's what's breaking up this entire there, pack is the, uh, the lap guys. And J.J. Yeely's still there in the mix with those guys. He's fighting for his... Uh, for the lead lap and uh so i mean i understand why those guys would race you for the lead lap but i mean if you're going that far back it's like just get out of the way <laughs> to be honest it's really not even worth it because he's not going to Car in front, pick up you know the lead lap off of that all right those guys three wide too low yeah i thought they were going to pit but i guess not so we're stuck in the outside lane again but it worked out for us because we do have a fast car whenever I nail the you know the turns it definitely shows okay it's clear Clint Boyer's coming in looks like everybody's coming into pit now over your outside car outside looking low that's not cool well you know what it's better than screwing something up what what happened here did we not make it into the pits? We didn't make it into the pits. What the fuck? You've got to be kidding me here. You've got to be kidding me. Son of a bitch. We missed the fucking goddamn cone. That's what we missed. Shit. Well, we're staying out now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.
Unbelievable. I mean, I made it to the... <laughs> That's such shit. Our high. Such shit. We're on the high side. We're not going to lose our shit yet. Not going to be too upset by it. We're just going to keep going. 30 to go. Try Three to get our lap zero. back. But I don't see that happening. The Stewart's the one we got to pass now. Car outside. At your door. Can't right believe we missed our pit stop. Inside. You little dickhead. Left side's clear. Looking really good, buddy. Gotta get to the bottom. Outside. Now we just we're, we're praying for a. Uh, Check your inside. Praying for a yellow right now. We're inside you. Clint Boyer's just eating us alive with those four fresh tires. But we're still faster than him. Car inside, just in, a, in a straight line we are, at least. I'm almost about to just let the Joker go by. Clear. Because he's faster. Go high. Go high. Car inside. Low side's clear. And we're in eighth. We really need a yellow. We really, really need a yellow for that mistake. That was like almost a drive through penalty is what that was like. Car inside at your door. You're going to have to fucking move out of the way, Clear guys. Left. Car outside you. Yeah. Put your right side. What a shame. Clear high. I mean, just what Clear a shame. High. Unbelievable. I mean, we're in eighth. It's because everybody's, you know, down a lap. We really need a yellow. Really need a yellow. Car two back. But I don't think we're going to get one. <laughs> it's all but one you know, you made, I made the mistake. I didn't get down there in time. Getting slowed up Clear enough now. to get there Going underneath the cone. Down. It's my fault. And that's the difference between, you know, racing without pit stops and with pit stops. It can completely change everything in a race. Look at your fuel gauge for me. You're ready to pit. Yeah, I know. We have second, to pit this time. This next Way time around. Car inside, trying to get to your corner. I know he is. All right, I want you to pit this time. Pit this lap. Two yep, back. We have to pit. We're and down clear. a lap. We're screwed. Just screwed. On the bottom, one back. Inside. Come on, guys. I have to get down here. Fuck on off. Bottom, Fuck back. off, you little prick. Looks like you're running on empty. Yeah, let's do this shit. Starters. We got some fresh tires for you, driver. Standing by. The crew's on the wall. Right side tires only, right side tires only. Where's tires? Tires, 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 tires. Where the fuck? <laughs> Two right sides only. Two right sides tires. Down two laps, just screwed. Absolutely okay, guys, screwed off of that. We should have made it in the first time, but nope. Just sucks. Great stop, guys. In and out. Come on, it's let me drive the car. Now, okay, go get him, man. We're still one of the fastest cars out there. Keep hitting your mark. You're three laps down. Get the momentum. Let's go. <laughs> three laps down now. High side. Got one working the top. Let him pass. High side's clear. How much faster we are than that. It's ridiculous how much difference that is. He's coming low. Got a car low. Put it on the left. Still hoping we get a yellow. If we get a yellow, the then, you know, we, Put it on the low side. we get one of our laps back. It doesn't Put matter. We're not getting them back at all, ever. So, what the fuck? Just it doesn't matter by. at this point. Door up top. I'm not giving up racing, that's for sure. I'm still going to race these guys. Clear 
clear right. Car two back. Car two back. Clear now. The only way is if a yellow comes out and or these guys have to pit again, which is a possibility, but I really doubt it. Car outside. Right's clear. And I don't know what else to do. Go low, go low. Car at your door. Up top at your door. Clear high. Car right behind you. Mm-hmm. I see right him. Behind you. I mean, the thing is, is we're, there's no way we'll get our lap back, Car up you know, high. laps back. Three wide. Back. Three Brad's going to go three wide here. Unbelievable. Fuck you guys. I'll race you. I don't care. Let you buy. Be smart here. Nope. Fuck Brad. Not for what he pulled in Bristol. I'm not forgetting it. Gordon's right there. Car outside you. We need a yellow so inside, bad. Just looking. Just go around, guys. That's the case. Three wide, two inside. Three wide, three wide. You're in the middle. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get away from them, and you right, can't. All clear, bud. Just go around. Hold go ahead, Matt. Car inside at your door. And I'm gonna race it. Clear. R wreck our car. Not worth it. So yeah, we got screwed on that uh, on that pit stop. Didn't count it. It was a drive-through penalty, essentially, is what it was like. So. Uh, because, you know, the game chooses whether or not you you hit the cone perfectly or, or hit the line. I, I mean, I was in the brakes. I was trying to give those guys room getting into the pits, but it didn't work out at all. We're three laps down. I just don't see us fighting back from that. I'm not giving up, but, you know, I'm not also down. Come on, man. Let's hustle. not racing for the win. So what does it matter at this point? Wow, you just closed down the guy in front by eight tenths. Yeah, I know. We're, we're, we have a fast car. We had a top five car today, but we got screwed in the pits. That's what happened. Go low. Car outside. Got your door. I'd rather not race you, Gordon. I'd rather not race you. I'd rather just stay where I'm at and see what happens. If we get a yellow or Ten something. That's not happening. We're on the high side. Go He's going to do the buddy. crossover anyway. Go ahead. One Go. Inside. Left side's clear. So we're just going to kind of just sit here, I guess. I don't know. Take 30th. We have to Nine pass to Trevor Bain, and I don't know where he's at. Nobody's going to pull over and make it easy for us today. All right, Gordon, Go you're just it. slower than us. I, I'm... I'm trying right to not have to do what I'm doing here, but sometimes you, you got to do it. Eight to go. Car in front's heading to the pit. All right, there's Trevor. Ben okay, they're going to be pitting up here. Low. We have a shot at, at catching up at least a lap or two, maybe. I see Trevor Bain up there. He's right in front of Kevin Harvick, and he's for 29th. So we Seven need to, to go. got to fight. There's just no way in hell, no way in hell we're going to get anything above maybe 25th or something. I, I don't know who, what the pit sequence is on these other guys, but we, we just, Move up high. Move up we shot high. ourselves in the foot Car today, but you know what? I'm not going to be upset about it because it's been a good race. To go. Like other than the mistake in the pits, the it's been a good race. You know, we're definitely moving in the right direction in this game, finally. It took a long time to do that. Turned out it was the steering lock. Uh, oh, buddy, we're faster than the car in front. Let's pass him. Yep, he's for position, and we're going to we're gonna pass him right here. Keep it steady. High side's clear. All right. Just no caution, just, just a green flag run the entire time. So that's how the <laughs> that how it, that's how it happens. I'm just not Car used to having to, to, to hit pit road at these different uh, these different tracks. So I mean, I'm not making excuses for my mistake, but you know, just is what it is. 
thought somebody was pitting up here, but I guess not now. So Almarola is for position. Three laps behind. He's in front oh, of those guys. Don't work, work for our Looks money like with the worn the right tire down. Slow part of the blown tire. Head whoa, on. whoa. Outside. Somebody blew a tire. Looks like it was Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush blew a tire. Car outside. You're two laps down. For a minute there, I thought he was talking about me. Okay, we got one of our laps back. Yeah, for a minute, I thought he was talking about me, but it wasn't me. It was Kyle Bush. That's a full second you've made up on the driver in front. Way to go, buddy. That's because we got a fast car, man. We're trying to get up there to Almarola for position. three back. Looking inside. Regardless, we'll be in the chase, so. Right's clear. We'll see what happens. Two to go. One lap behind. Yep. Car three back. All right. So we, 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 have done better. we I mean, we, we just need to, if a yellow came out, we could probably get a rave around and then have a shot at some more positions. But other than that, we just don't. Okay. I'm for position. That 43 car. That's who I want. That's who I want, Kevin. Let's do this. Like we said today, nice and smooth. Stay focused. Yeah. I'll race you three wide. I don't care. I want that position. One up top. David Reagan. Is out. Whoa, whoa, left. come on. Get back into the race, dude. Let by. Be smart here. Shit. Outside. This cost me that position. 28th over that shit. Clear right side. Maybe not. I'm racing on the roll of position right now. Deep into Looking the turn. Low. Watch Casey Kane. He'll wreck us. Yup. They'll wreck us for sure. Jimmy Johnson's the winner. Clear left. Me and Amarola are racing for position here. All clear, bud. Nope, it's gonna do it right there. I'm not upset about it, mainly because I mean, yeah, I'm pissed because of the the pit stop. You know, we would have had a shot in a top five, top ten, uh, had that not happened. But we we drove our ass off today. I think and it I think it shows. So without that uh, said, you know, we just pack up and we move on to the next weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.